Okay, let's see how this works, guys. I have your tech tip from Annette Anthony. Um, I guess an email went out to everybody about this new feature. And I know that she posts her videos as well, but um, I will go through it with you. And then um, I kind of have like a complimentary um, thing for listing landing pages on Chime as well. So if you already know what Anna Anthony shared, you can fast forward. Otherwise I will show you now. Um, so we are going to start on the <clears throat> resource center. So log in, I already logged in, click to exitize me and go to your ad center. Um, so the really cool thing for those of us, especially right now, because we are doing our listing contest. Um, if you go over here to listings, you can select automated programs. So what that's gonna do if you create an automated program and you can have multiple, so keep that in mind as I click through here and show you some of the filter options. Um, what that's going to do is allow you to automate the listing ads to just auto populate for you as soon as you have listings that pop, that go into the system. Um, so like a lot of their stuff, it'll walk you through. You can go, thanks, I've got it. I don't need to see this. Um, but here's the really cool thing. So I know Shane and a couple of you have like a specific farming neighborhood or things like that. Um, so you can set it to filter and only pick up ads for uh, your farming neighborhood or a zip code. And what that's gonna do is like, you can set a higher ad spend on that specific listing ad for any of your listings that go live that fit within your, criteria that you've set here. So you can pick different uh, filters to, to focus on, um, or you can just do all listings. I'm just going to do all listings. Um, but yeah, this can be good if you, if you want to have a higher ad spend, for example, for maybe a higher price point. Um, so you can create multiple um, automated programs based on what you're trying to target. Uh, but we're going to click all listings. You click your blueprint. Um, it'll be exciting when they offer different blueprints, but right now it's just this one. Uh, this is a sample of what it looks like and that that's going to be automated in. So obviously when you have your listing go live, it'll be one of your <clears throat> listing photos. The other cool thing is I think most of us have professional like business Facebook pages, but you can't run an ad off of a personal Facebook page. Um, so if you don't have a professional Facebook page, you can still run ads through our exit resource center because they provided us with an exit uh business page that we can run our ads on. Um, and then obviously the leads still come back to us, even though it's not your uh, business page. Um, everything else is going to be set just like if you're running a normal ad, if you've never done that, um, go ahead and text me or email me or whatever, and I can walk you through it. But um, I would keep the description pretty vague because obviously you don't know what the listing's going to look like. Um, but if you look at the ad, I mean, it it looks decent without a huge description as well. It's going to be very um, short and sweet. It's going to automate the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and so on. And then basically you set, do you want all of these ads to run for seven days? What do you want your ad spend to be? You pick your credit card and then you finalize it and hit save. And then you can go back and you can create a new one based on, uh, you know, whatever 
criteria you want to set if you didn't want to just do all listings because you may not want to spend ad money on all listings. Okay, so the next thing, because um, one of the sections in the ad gives you an option to put in a URL, a clickable link on your ad. Um, so they can either click learn more or they can click on um, the link in your description. Uh, so for instance, if you're doing a neighborhood or your farming area, you're gonna click on the paper airplane and you're gonna go to landing pages. Um, you can search this any other way, but like on your, the homes for a hot sheet and things like that and share them individually. Um, but this landing page is helpful because you can add it to your website or add it like we're going to do to um, your Facebook ads. So I'm gonna do multiple property you can pick a map with the images or you can pick just the, <coughs> excuse me, the listings. Um, I'm going to do listings in, we'll do Shane's Claremont. <laughs> listing source, we're going to use a custom filter because uh, you want to pull up listings that meet your criteria if you're doing an ad for all the properties that come up in Claremont Ranch. Um, so I'm gonna do latest listing because I want the newest listings to come up first. Um, for here, I know it's kind of obnoxious because it's for sale and for rent, but I'll show you in a minute, we'll get rid of the for rent. If you do sold, um, that's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna show you all of the properties that have closed and sold. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> so we're going to do for sale. Uh, and then what you can do is add criteria and we are going to go down in, if you don't have this criteria here, uh, email customer support, because basically all of these options are options that are available to us through our MLS. Um, and I don't think that they got added to everybody's chime. Uh, so listing status, we are going to want active back on the market and coming soon only property type. We can keep it on any. Um, and then here is where you would pick, like if you were running your ad based on say, maybe luxury properties at a certain price point, you put that price point in here and only the listings that meet that criteria are going to pull up on your landing page. We're gonna do Claremont Ranch. And we're gonna pick the neighborhood. There's six that meet this criteria. And so we are going to hit save. Yes. Oh, did it get mad at me? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Go to the other page, thank you. Okay, so now it's gonna take you to your landing page. So if you look, it's gonna show all of these six listings. And again, you can customize it, you can change it, um, kind of how it looks, just like you played around with your website. But what's gonna be exciting is this link, this web link um, is going to be, that was the, I'm not using this one because the CMS is your viewer link for your editing, but I'm going to use the rinaldiresource.com slash and all of that info to put into my ad and see, look, it's already trying to pop up and make me register. <laughs> um, but so then basically, even if they, you know, they click or they see the one listing that's in your ad, but then they click on it and they're getting all of the listings that might match their, their search or their criteria. And then again, because you're sending them to Chime, it's going to capture their information. Um, but what you can also do, if you wanna put this as a tab at the top of your website, um, you can do that as well. Um, but I will show you later because this is already super long and I don't want it to be super long. So 
thanks for participating. <laughs> if you have questions, let me know.